Hello everyone. Welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix EA Sports FC 25 controller or gamepad is not working on PC and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to disconnect and reconnect the controller. So this is happening for many of the users. So just disconnect the controller. Now we just need to connect it back and try launch the game. That's all you have to do. Next one is all about we have to restart the FC. So if you're already in the game, just exit the game. After exiting the game, we need to just go over here. After exit the game is done, we have to try restart. I mean, you have to launch it once again. And most probably that's going to help you guys in some cases. And also I would like to add one more step. You can, if you're on the Steam, the game is on the Steam, just go over here in the Steam, go for exit. So right now, as you can see, the Steam is getting shut down. So what happens is afterwards, just do a restart on your system. So just go over here and do a restart. Once afterwards, just go back to the Steam. So it is going to take a bit of time. So once the Steam is logged in back, uh, you just need to wait. It will be asking for waiting for to get connected network. So just wait over here. Now just go back to the library and you have to launch the game. So this even worked, so you can try this out. Next one is all about, we have to add EA desktop app to Steam and launch the EA app from Steam and launch FC25. I don't know how this is related. So if you're already on the EA app, if it is already opened, so just go over here, go to the add a game option, just click on this one and go for add a non Steam game, click on this one. And right now from here, as you can see, you'll be having, so right now, as you can see, we have EA app. So just add the app and go for add selected app. So you can see that EA app will be over here. Okay, so you'll be able to find the EA app. So just search for EA app. You can search for the EA app. So uh, you'll be able to find the EA app. And once the EA app is added, okay, you'll be able to find the EA app. Where is it added? Somewhere here it is added. So just, okay, just search for the EA app. We have to add the app. Just add the app, it is already added. And once the app is added, we'll be having the app here. So once afterwards, just launch the game. So once the game is launched, what you need to do is, we just need to, after the game is launched, you're fine with it. Next one is all about, we have to add a game. That means we have to add FC 25. So over here, as you can see, just click over here and you can uh, just add a game as well as so here it's already the game is there if the game is not on the steam just skip it but if the game is there on the steam just add the game and launch the game so just uh, what that what you have to do and afterwards you can just go over here and also make sure if EA app is already there if it is already there we just need to uh, exit the app you have to just exit the app that is a very important one so uh, that is also very important. So you can also make sure over here and also regarding the this particular step, which I forgot to add, I have forgot to mention one. So we have to find EA, which could because it's already added. So you'll be able to find the EA, but if the EA is not added here, just you need to cross check whether the EA is added or not. Most probably EA will be available. As you can see, it is they just launched the game from here itself. Okay, that's what you have to do. So uh, over here, as you can see, uh, that is by mistake. Over here, as you can see, I've connected to the EA app because uh, over here, this EA app recovery is something by mistake I added. So I need to add EA app, right? So what I need to do is I just need to go over here. I need to sign in. So what I'll do is I need to sign in over here. So uh, one minute, I'll sign with my account and go for continue. And once afterwards, I'm done with it. So if you check over here, as you can see right now, the EA app is actually logged in, signed in over here, right? So right now, what I need to do is I just need to go over here. Regarding the step, just go over here and add an on Steam, not an on Steam game. You have to search for EA app. So over here, you can see you'll be able to find EA. So you have to find the EA app from here. So once the EA app is added, you have to play the game or you have to launch the game. So next one is all about, we need to make sure we need to disconnect the peripherals. That means what we need to do is, for example, we might be connected with a lot of USB things. We might be connected with a lot of things. We might be connected with joystick controllers and all those things. So just unplug everything. Afterwards, 
just connect it back and try launch the key that's what you have to do next one is all about we have to disable the steam input so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go for controller and go over here and make sure you have to enable steam input or we have to go for disable steam input you can go for enable steam input or we can go for disable steam input both things can be done next one is all about we have to launch the game in the big picture mode so just go over here in the game so this is the big picture mode over here just click on this one and we have to launch the game so launch the game in the big picture mode will be working in most cases so you can try this out and try launch the game you can also exit the big picture mode after it's working fine so just exit the big picture mode and you can go back last and the least step is all about we have to install xbox accessories apps so just search for xbox accessories app from here so just go over here and this particular app will be most probably uh, done over here i mean it will be installed so you can just go over here let me search for xbox first open the xbox and now what we need to do is we just need to uh, you can uh, even go over here and you can also add the game as well so uh, just go over here and make sure to add the game so that is also fine with that so these are some of the possible workarounds can be done when you are having an issue with ea fc25 is having an issue with the controller i hope this video is helpful see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye